What are you laughing at, you, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> I just saw a Twitter post. It's a, it's a screenshot of a news headline. <laughs> My Little Pony fans are ready to admit they have a Nazi problem. <laughs> Uh, you know what they all right all right you know what okay let's just consider this the cold opening and just say no they don't okay they they, they fucking don't like if there's Have you ever a... heard of a nazi named hasenkruz uh, a nazi named hasenkruz uh, I... yeah uh, everybody loves that guy body. Ew. Everybody I, loves Hasenkruz. You know, I, 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 you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just, I, I don't. <laughs> hold on, I don't think Hasenkruz is a Nazi. I, I think he's, I think he can be edgy. I can think he'd be an edge lord, but I, I, I don't know. I think everyone sort of got away from that area when, when they could, and, and y'all know the, the time I'm talking about, because that got, cause shit got a little weird for a little while. Like he, he doesn't. He doesn't like like uh because I'm in I think I'm still in his personal Discord. Uh, he doesn't like shit like fucking Murdoch Murdoch or anything like that. Like he, like everyone thought it was funny at first, but then like you, you start to watch the shit and you're like, oh, these guys aren't really doing this ironically at all, are they? And you're like, eh, <laughs> I think I'm going to step out and get some air. You know, go get some some smokes, some 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 really good smokes, and, and never show up again. <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, come on. There's there's got you know, the these people, they're 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 willing to like make us see fucking Nazis and everything. Kind of like how all the douche nozzles in the fucking fifties and sixties would have us fucking seeing communists in our cereal bowls. And I'm just fucking so sick of it. Like you know, like mm. all right, so th there are people who fucking suck, but like I don't think they've infiltrated every little uh the the upper echelons of power and i don't think they're in your i don't think they're in your uh uh homeowners associating meetings and all that shit like this is getting a, a, a tad bit too conspiratorial even for me didn't shirley temple get canceled for the communist shit who sh the red uh, scare shirley temple the 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 little girl the the little girl <laughs> the little fucking girl, yeah i the, think the they thought she was communist Yes, that one. Fuck all if I know. I mean, that that was like that's way too much. I think she got to being a communist, and that's why she stopped doing her thing. Well, lots of lots of actors back then got freaking shit can and blackballed and blacklisted because they were uh, admitted communists. And, and and personally, I I don't think being like an admitted communist should ever get you blackballed from an industry. If people don't want to work with you, that's one thing. And that's your loss, but as far as being blackballed by the industry for just that, even though I fucking hate communism, I don't, I don't think you should lose your job or your livelihood because of it. Though your your belief your belief in communism should be openly mocked, though. Like it it is stupid. You're like, oh, all right, but you know, here you you, you go on in ahead and you know do your thing. Anyway. Communism is cool. I like communism. Vote for Bernie. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Riley. Hell yeah. I'm with it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, 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 I am not looking forward to this year's election at all. Like, this is this is going to be just, like, the, the biggest shit heap. Like, and, and nothing good's going to happen shit. from it. I think everything's just... It was just, just as bad as 2016. Hillary, Trump, both bad. One was better. The worst one won. And this year, probably the same thing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Vote for Biden, everyone, please. Uh, <laughs> oh, please. Don't ever say that. Uh, don't say that combination of words ever again, please, God. <laughs> Vote for Joe, but like, no, I don't want my, I don't want my little girl sniffed. Okay, no, ugh. Jesus I'm, I'm right Christ. Right Honestly, uh, no okay. malarkey. Okay, before we get back to the anime, because we, well, then again, before we get into anime, because we haven't touched anime yet, uh, the only thing that will save Biden is a sensible fucking VP nod. Because if it's someone like fucking Kamala Harris who's put more non-white people in fucking jail and an awful lot of white people in jail too, 
uh, than, than, than most fucking Democrats do. I, I think his is a sinking ship. Like, it, it, it's got to be someone that the, the public likes and who would be comfortable uh, being president. And I, I don't, I, like, it seems Kamala might end up getting the nod. Because that, that chick is a fucking fascist. Kamala Harris? Yo, big time, big time, man. She she fucking hates fucking people, man. She does not look she does not like uh, she doesn't like other fucking Hispanic people. She doesn't like white people. She doesn't like black people. She she fucking looks upon the populace. There's no need to bring race into it if she hates all race. No, no, no. She's she not, nah, man. No, there's gotta be <laughs> there's gotta be a point though made here, man. She she looks at the, the, the population and thinks to herself, How can I make a gigantic prison? And imprison all of you. And she wants she wants a fucking subject class. So no, I I, I don't I, I don't like her at all. Anyway, let's start. <laughs> let's go ahead and start the show. Uh, some time has been lost on the mocast speed run. Shut up. Okay, you no, know, you you motherfuckers are uh, motherfucker. <laughs> I should say because this is all your fault, Riley. I didn't want to do a speed run. I was thinking like we were going to do this at about five or six o'clock, but you're like, "Mo speed run, go go go!" And then you're, Robin, you're the one who you you're the one who played into my obvious joke. Well, no, I, like I saw Robin in the live recording room, and I was like, "Oh, uh, all right, I, I guess we are doing this." Fuck. I'll oh, okay. Take those uh, challenges very seriously. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's start the show. I'll yell at you in a minute after the intro. A three, <laughs> and, and, uh, and I'll give you this, okay? I'll give you a three, a two, or a three. Is that a fucking rooster behind me? <laughs> I hate living out in the goddamn country. Uh. <laughs> Leave this in, please. Uh, three, two, skiddly diddly do. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. Joining me today is our famous co-host that uh, you know co-host you can't get anywhere else say uh say hi to robin hi to robin all right and say and the co-host hi you can get in a million other places <laughs> Riley Brooks. oh you know and the co-host that can do his own intros you know one. yeah 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 at least a million to one you know the co-host that can do his own intro you know like you you can't get many of those these days <laughs> hey it's me I'm cool. Look at me. Yay. Uh-huh. 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 Now, <laughs> we were supposed to talk about anime, but we started talking about the, the election and other shit immediately, so we're going to go ahead and squash that, because I don't want to talk about... It's a cold open, Mo. The cold open isn't about the topic. It's about something else. Riley, I swear <laughs> to God, I'm, I'll am i fucking smack the shit out of you. <laughs> Uh, you don't know where I live. Oh, I'll Can't find out. Oh, I'll find out, bitch. I'll find out, bitch. <laughs> I'll freaking just dick slap everyone in fucking Florida until they find out where is Riley. Where? Uh, I'll be like fucking Batman. To Riley Brooks. I'll, I'll I'll be like fucking I'll be like Batman in that shitty Batman v Superman uh uh fucking movie. Where's Riley? Where's Riley? I'll just be fucking shaking people. Where's Martha? And they won't fucking know what I'm talking about because I'll be committed to the bit and I'll forget about you and I'll end up going home like failing my mission completely. <laughs> I'm Batman. Oh man, Batman showing up at the fucking protests and riots and stuff the last couple weeks. There's been a dude dressing up in the. Uh, I think it's the the, the, the the recent incarnation of Batman. So it, it, it's the Batfleck one. He's got the Batfleck suit. And he's like going like, I'll rid the city of all the scum and filth. Dun, 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 he's like riding, you know, he's walking around looking at, uh, you know, looking for crime. You know, Batman and all that. says a cap. Hmm. All cops are <laughs> bastards. Even though I work with one, he's like a good friend of mine. He's the chief police, Jim Gordon. That man, that that would be an awkward fucking conversation, huh? Sorry, Batman. Uh, like Batman, you can't go around saying all cops are bastards. I'm sorry, Jim, but a cab. Uh, I am the night. <laughs> you know that that that's just like a real awkward fucking conversation to have with, with your buddy. 
Like, you son of a bitch, I have not arrested you for huge crimes so many times. I'm the knife. Man, I remember that anime. Oh, yeah, the, the, the one... <laughs> <laughs> the one where he goes like full on, you know, like a leftist protester. <laughs> the anime where Batman becomes a leftist protester. Oh man, it's like I am the knight, <laughs> and you know we're going to talk about how we can defund the police and stuff. <laughs> you know, like I am the I knight. I am the knight. Defund the police. Then they fucking yell at him because they think he's being racist because he keeps saying I am the knight. It's like, well. <laughs> <laughs> Like, well, no, no, it's a, it's a saying, and, and no one knows how to interpret it. <laughs> but anyway, e enough about that. Boy, oh boy, you know it's just great anime. Now, I've been watching a lot of anime, like, these last, like, few weeks. Like, I've been watching uh, One Punch Man. Uh, I've been, like, trying to catch up on my uh, fucking, on my uh, Attack on Titan, which is a series I really like. The intro is far fucking too long but it is what it is and there's fuck all i can do about anime intros i mean they're notoriously traditionally they're extremely long like two to three minutes and it get, it gets on your nerves because like you just want to get into the show what company makes the best anime intros my answer for kids <laughs> uh, i hate you <laughs> No, Dream it. Kids. Don't give it up, Luffy. Dream it. Well, it, it's fucking crazy because if you because I was thinking about this last night actually. Uh, if you if you go back to like '90s cartoons because '90s cartoons are notorious for this. Like '80s cartoons were were fine. You got the intro, like you know, He Man was like He Man and the Masters of the Universe, introducing characters, locations, a villain. Boom, you were done in like a minute, maybe. And then you get into what the hell were you like ripping apart your <laughs> asshole or something? No, I was opening a double bag. I probably should have muted myself. Yeah, you you probably should have <laughs> muted yourself. You you, you probably oh, should have laughing at the assertion that he man's an anime. Well, I I all right, I'm I'm thinking just you know, don't 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 fact check me on the fly here. No, like, I'm just talking about the intros real quick. I'm, I'm about to get into the 90s. Oh, and... well, the He-Man, Narides. <laughs> oh? Yeah, but anyway, yeah, the, the 90s, I think, are, are notorious for... Like, they they they, ish, they ushered in the, the long intro, I think. Because I don't think long intros were, like, terribly a, a thing. Or terribly too much of a thing. Uh, until, like, the 90s. We're gonna pause. Oh, okay, good, good, good. He he's muted himself, so now we can actually talk like normal human beings. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I've been and uh, recently I've been watching fucking Naruto like crazy. Not every single little episode because I just can't take that much filler. Like it, it's, I hate filler episodes with a passion. Like I, I just can't stand it. Like there should only ever be like. Per so arc. never watch a sermon ever. I will defend filler till the day I die. Oh, hold, hold on a sec. Robin, wh wh what did you say? So pretty much no oh, what? I said just don't watch any shonen ever in your entire life if you don't want filler. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it's just, it wouldn't be such a big deal if, like, some irrelevant ass fucking uh, uh, scene from the anime, like in Naruto, there's, like, just a conversation. There's some bullshit little conversation that naruto and sasuke had and there's a couple of episodes uh that turn into filler that keep referencing that exact same conversation over and over again and it's kind of hey, like to remember when we had that conversation about that thing that was pretty cool Shibin! and then i have to listen to the whole conversation again and about 15 minutes ago in the same episode we already fucking heard it it's like dude please stop, please no more, and just, like, just, please just get to the point, like, you know, one reference per scene, per, like, every five episodes, okay? You don't Here's get so... Here's an example of an anime that does, that does filler both horribly wrong and horribly right at the same time, is Dragon Ball Z. Uh, oh, man, uh, Dragon Ball Z's fucking filler 
it can be brutal uh, to fucking It's also go- great, though. It's all, not the when they do fillers in the middle of fights and they just scream at each other the whole time. That's bad. But they also have original plots as fillers that are really fun, like Gohan and his robot friend and <laughs> Goku and Vegeta having to travel through Boo's insides to save their friend. Those are fun and good filler episodes. <laughs> Well, like, well, there, there's a point to like, you know, Go, Goku and Vegeta having to go through Boo's body to, uh, to fucking rescue their friends and all that. See, I, I don't mind filler when it has a point. It's just that when there's no point whatsoever to the filler, when I have to watch Chi Chi fucking dancing, you know, at, at the end of like an ent- a long ass arc. And you know, Mr. Robot had no point, but it's still one of the most heart wrenching stories in anime. There's an episode, there's a very early episode of Dragon Ball Z in which Gohan runs away from home and meets a robot and becomes friends with this robot. But then at the end, the robot has to sacrifice himself to save Gohan. It's very sad. But I mean, arguably, no filler has a point because the whole thing with filler is that, like, oh shit, we used all the manga's material. What do we do now? Well, yeah, true, true. They they gotta fucking figure something out, right? Like, there's gotta be a point to like why. Uh, so it's never plot relevant. Yeah, th- there's gotta be a point to like why Goku is screaming ah for fucking five episodes, building up a fucking spirit bomb to throw at fucking Frieza. You know, there's gotta be they a point the- to all that. <clears throat> In early Dragon Ball Z, they use Gohan as a filler device a lot. There are a lot of little episodes where, like, hey, Gohan's in some, in some shenanigans. He's in some, he's having a fun time. Like, there was another episode where he meets like this ragtag band band of orphans who live in like a little forest town, and then the cops wait, wait, like wait, arrest wait, them all. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. That doesn't sound like any Dragon Ball Z episode I've ever fucking watched. Like, I you, I are, are you just making you this shit up? Because this sounds like you're trying to like take. It sounds like you're trying to take I, I, current year events and then like I package them into you. a GBZ sort of package. No, I promise you this exists. Gohan meets a bunch of orphans, and then the cops <laughs> the cops come and arrest them all, <laughs> and then they go on. I, no, this is when Gohan. Gohan's supposed to be training with Piccolo, and Piccolo, like, leaves him to, like, survive and fend for himself, and he runs what? away and tra- Well, no, and that, he runs, uh, that's Dude, hap- I don't think that ever happened. I think you're thinking of no, another anime. No, I don't remember the no. robot one, either. <laughs> Here's the, no, so when Piccolo's training Gohan, he, like, leaves him to, like, survive off the lay of the land for a while. That's part yeah, of his training. Yeah, I remember and that. Gohan, and Gohan, in a filler episode, runs away trying to go back home to his mother and he runs into like this little village with a bunch of orphan kids and they all get put into an orphanage at the end and then Gohan makes it home but then he realizes that he needs the training so he goes back I I just I don't remember that episode at all this is real I promise are you sure that you're not thinking about like some other like because that sounds like a attack on titan sort of like maybe episode or or something else I don't know there's an awful lot of anime and I haven't watched nearly you know half of one percent of them I own the first season of Dragon Ball Z on DVD I know this Oh well, I guess you, I guess you caught me on there, cause I, I, I just don't. The children run Gohan, longing for Mount Pauzu, where Chi Chi is waiting. Is the tenth episode of the Vegeta saga in the uncut Dragon Ball Z series. This episode first aired in Japan in, on August sixteenth, nineteen eighty nine, and its original American air date was July eleventh, two thousand five. Oh, see, all right. I, I guess you got me there, cause I, I, cause I wasn't watching DBZ in two thousand five, like back in my day. Uh, we we had uh, Dragon Ball Z in like you know from like ninety seven, ninety eight, and ninety nine, and we were uh, we had to wait fucking years in between fucking arcs sometimes, just to fucking get the conclusion. Like, dude, I didn't see uh, Goku and this going isn't fucking uncut as well. Like, this isn't the the actual like cut. <laughs> oh, okay. Filler, okay. Right filler when yeah. done right can add. Filler, when done right, can add depth to characters. Just don't make it screaming. 
make it actual plots like the Mr. Robot episode or Goku and Vegeta going through Boo's body. All right. That's good filler. That's I, fun filler. I gotta watch the Mr. Robot episode because I swear I've never <laughs> seen that one either. Is that another uncut episode, uh, uh, Riley? Pro- yeah, that's probably the version I own on DVD, so I assume so, yes. Oh, okay. Well, then that's my problem right there. I've never watched the actually watched the uncut episodes. Uh, I've always watched, like, you know, the, the shit that they threw up on TV and they were like, here, make do with this. Yeah. yeah, I fucking hate Toonami. Anyway. Why? What's wrong with Toonami? Oh, I just. I just fucking hate Toonami, that's all. Like, for, like, making, like, me and my friends fucking wait, like, almost a few, like, almost two, three years to to, to fucking dub all, all the, the rest of the fucking, rest of the DBZ into fucking English. I'm like, Jesus, guys, like, you know, there's whole industries dedicated to dubbing, oh, oh you know, like, a, a English dubbing. Uh, anime and y'all couldn't use them you had to do it in-house yourselves i mean jesus guys you know come on i, I don't know watching the best anime of all time <laughs> as confirmed recently on twitter by did you know oh or what anime yeah, is that what avatar Airbender. the last airbender <laughs> oh okay yeah, hell yeah the best anime of all time see now there's a point of contention right there some people are acting like avatar the last airbender and legend and korra uh aren't actually anime and i just disagree it's just not from japan it, it's from america it's an american fucking anime as did as did and, you said as did you said five years ago before changing its mind and changing her mind but it was a him back then Anime is the Japanese colloquialism. I don't know the rest of the quote, but I'm sure some people do. Well, I'm sure, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's point, you know, yeah, like... I guess the main contention comes from the fact that Avatar draws influence not just from Japan, but from other Asian cultures as well. Well, yeah, that... Like you, can, you can tell when there's, like, Chinese, like, uh, the fucking, all of the Ba Sing Se arc and, like, the Dai Li and everything that's heavy, like, China the, brainwashing the Nickelodeon, shit. <laughs> the Nickelodeon cartoon Kappa Mikey was advertised as the first American anime. <laughs> I don't remember. What Kappa that... Mikey was a nightmare. It's nightmare fuel. <laughs> what is, is. It's what horrible. is, what is Kappa Mikey? I gotta know this. It was it's, a horrible cartoon. I know, like, what what was it about? Uh, isn't it about this kid named Mikey who, like, acts in an anime or some shit? Yes. <laughs> he, 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 like, wins a contest or something, and, like, he's like, yeah, you're the new, you're the new dude. You're Kappa Mikey. And the theme, the theme song is in, is in English, but it's sung in, like, a racist Japanese accent. <laughs> I might have to watch this. This sounds like it would be a fucking fun time to just... I don't know. It's absolutely horrible. Is it, is it, like, really that bad, huh? God. Can we have a mo, Can we have a MoCast movie night where we just watch Kappa Mikey and stupid Dragon Ball Z filler episodes? Oh, man. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. But I'll give, uh, I'll give filler episodes this. Uh, uh, Dragon Ball Super, I think, did filler episodes a lot better even though there's a few episodes like where Goku and the gang like go and fucking meet up with I think 18 17 or 18 it's the it's the guy android who turned to human but is somehow What 17? Oh is that 17? I'm not I'm, n- I'm never sure if There's uh... 17 and there's 18. 18 is the chick who married Krillin, 17 is her brother. Oh okay 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 good 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 good. <clears throat> yeah there's uh I think there's... the inclusion of seventeen and super was really cool. I really liked the way he they used him. Yeah, yeah, I, I I really liked him too. He's definitely one of the cooler characters from DBZ, and they didn't and he really won get to... the tournament of power. Yeah, he won the fucking tournament of fucking power, man. It was great. Uh, like, cause that 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 tournament sort of dragged on a little bit too long, even though uh, I still love the shit out of it, and I'll never stop. Uh, I'll never stop fucking watching it, but oh, okay, that's that's what you got. That's Kappa Mikey right there. Oh my god, it's it's not racist. It is by a Japanese band. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it is okay. I was just yeah. kind of saying that as a joke. I didn't mean it for real. But um, 
what was it? Uh, there was the baseball episode of uh, Dragon Ball Super with uh, Beerus and Champa and the two teams, you know, Earth and uh, uh, the other uh, the other uh, uh, parallel. I love dimension. how Yamcha gets his shit rocked, even though he's actually a baseball player. <laughs> He's the only one that actually scored, though, on the entire on both teams. N- neither teams came fucking close to even scoring. They just fucking powered up and fucked with each other. But Yamcha's the oh, only so one. Oh, so like who... there was one point scored, and it was Yamcha that scored it. Yeah, and they referenced his fucking death in DBZ. Yeah, I know. That's that's why I thought he got his shit rocked because I've seen the screenshot of him like in a pit, in the way that he was when he got blown up. Apparently he's not dead in DBZ. He he got barely just strong enough to 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 not die so much because Yamcha I think is probably the most useless fucking character. I mean TN uh, was more useful than him. But you know who? No, I'm when you really... think about it, it's crazy to think about how Yamcha, even though by Dragon Ball Z characters he's weak as hell, mm-hmm. Yamcha could like casually blow up a planet. <laughs> he's very strong. <laughs> I don't know, just man. Compared, I, I, just compared to the gods he's surrounded by, he's a weakling, but he could, like, blow up a planet. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, though, uh, uh, you know, everyone can go without fucking Gohan, Piccolo, Tien, and Yamcha. Because they're they're so fucking... Like, you know, that that's that's one thing I'm really pissed off about, is the, uh, uh, the, the dropping completely of Gohan and Piccolo. Because Piccolo was supposed to be the guy that would always be on par with uh They redeemed Goku. Gohan pretty well, at least in the super manga. I don't know much about the anime, but I know in the super manga, he went toe-to-toe with Kefla, and they took each other out. They tied. A fusion Gohan went toe-to-toe with and tied with. All right, well, I, I, have to, I have to read that because I haven't been reading the manga very much, but every time, like, Gohan shows up, it's kind of like, you know, Goku's like, don't worry, little buddy, you'll be the leader. Even though, like, you know, his his fight with Gohan, his little warm-up with uh, uh, Goku was was just fucking pathetic. I mean, if you, if, you wa- if you go back to watch those filler episodes when uh, when Goku was recruiting for the, the, the World uh, world 7s or whatever fucking, which one uh, they are, they, uh, they, he did a poor job. Of fighting, and uh, he got his ass knocked out by his dad, and his dad, I think, went sympathy Super Saiyan Blue, just to fucking Look, like. I don't. I don't give a shit at their kids. Okay, Kr- Goten and Trunks should have been chosen over Krillin and Tien. Easy. Oh, 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 oh over the uh, yeah, fucking, fucking a. I mean, like a. Uh, well, no, maybe, maybe they should have. They they should have just gotten future trunks, and like put him in the tournament of power, and kicked wasn't out there, at least. Wasn't there TN. a rule against time travel specifically? I think there was, just so people wouldn't cry about future trunks. There was a rule mentioned where no time travel was allowed. Oh, I guess so, huh? Well, I I don't know anything about it. I think Go Go Ten and Trunks fought Majin Buu. Majin Buu was like the most the deadly thing in history. Or one of them, I guess, now that Goku Black was a thing and was obviously stronger. But Goten and Trunks held their own against Majin Buu. I think they were ready to be in a tournament. (laughs) Because Goku's like, yeah, they're too young. They don't have any experience. They fought Majin Buu. They have a lot of experience. Well, all right. Yeah, then they do know know the fusion technique. Yeah, Gotenks were kicked ass. Okay, you got a point there. But uh, just a... you, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm pissed off that the fact that Piccolo also didn't really get like a decent like, you know, like his because his shit in the tournament power was fucking garbage. I mean, the guy who stood out the most, I think, in their fucking team uh, throughout the entire tournament was Master Roshi because Master Roshi just shows uh, everyone how it's freaking done. I think he took out a few people, too, till he finally just, uh, get, you know, gave up because uh, 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 Vegeta had to half-ass save him from like the one guy who's like, "You done, old man? Get out of here! I'm gonna job." Oh, and can we talk about how much of a jobber fucking Vegeta is? No matter how strong he ever gets, he's never I ever going to get. I wanted to ask you a question. Actually, this is a weird. 
like well, moral thing. Okay, go ahead. Do you think? Do you think Vegeta has been redeemed morally because he has slaughtered millions of aliens? Well, oh well. Uh, uh I, 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 I mean, so does the United States. <laughs> womp 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 womp. Damn. Well, all right. So I, I guess. Well, wait a minute. Didn't they, didn't they didn't they wish them all back anyway? No, they never wished back to the people that Vegeta killed, like while he was a Saiyan blowing up planets. Well, they they might not. Well, you know what? I mean, I guess if there's no one around to complain, <laughs> I mean. And also, isn't there like a? I'm pretty sure. Is, wasn't there like a one year time limit back then with the Dragon Balls? Like if they've been dead for a year, you couldn't bring them back. No, I think it was just you had to wait a year for the Dragon Balls to or return to normal. Oh, there had to be a body for a while. That was a rule that they had that they sort of got rid of, was that there had to be a body. And there definitely wasn't a body. The <laughs> Judah blew up the planet. Well, like I said, you know, if there's no one around to complain, I guess he's forgiven. <laughs> you know, it's... You know, well, I mean, I, he, has, he has saved the universe many times, so I'd say he's, he's redeemed... But it's kind of like an interesting moral dilemma where, like, this man has committed genocide, but he also now is like a fa- is has a family and has saved the world several times and is a good person. Can he be morally redeemed for his well, yeah, millions I, of slaughters? Well, yeah, th- well, that and you know, like, I, I guess, like, since it's uh, Earth, like, it pretty much, I guess, doesn't really matter because, like, even though he killed a bunch of people during a. Uh, that one tournament where it was between the 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 one Earth Realm tournament that they had. I'm not DBZ. talking about that. I'm talking about before he even met Goku when he was just an evil Saiyan blowing up planets. Oh well, I mean, I, I guess so. I mean, if no one cares, no one cares. You can't make people care. I mean, I bet the people he killed probably cared a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, but but are they around to complain about it though? I mean. That would be that would be it's an interesting concept. That, that no, that would be an interesting. Question. That would be an interesting concept for a um, filler episode. Is like a survivor from a race that the Saiyan run, the Saiyans wiped out, showing up to get his revenge on Vegeta. Like, dude, you butt fucked the entire Parliament, freaking world government, and then blown us up. Said, "Ha ha, no one's come to save you. There is no God." Bye. <laughs> and you know, and, you know, just fucking killed everyone. Yeah, you know, I, I would actually like to see that. Just like see like a an alien get re- sort of like try and get revenge on Vegeta, and it turns out he's actually wicked, wicked strong, and it turns out maybe one of the angels is helping train him or something like that. I think I'd like to see that. Uh oh, Craig and uh, then ba- bailed. Oh, well, don't you usually use the OBS audio anyway? Oh, I, be fine. oh yeah, I, I do, but you know he left. What the fuck? Is, uh, you you know what? We're not even gonna me- we're not even gonna mess with uh, Craig's little bitch ass right now. If he's just gonna be a dick, then you know yeah, he's he can... falling asleep with the Dragon Ball talk too. Oh okay. Uh, sh- yeah, I, th- I think that'd be an in- I think it'd be interesting. Just like he's, there we go. oh, he's recording. Okay, there we he's go. Recording. There we go. Yeah, it'd I be guess interesting if like the alien was super strong and like. He almost kicked the kicked Vegeta's shit in, and like maybe like I think it. Oh, I just thought of the coolest thing. Like they're fighting, and like Vegeta's on the ropes, and then Kid Trunks jumps in to save him. Oh, dude, he would never live that down, though, man. He'd be like the world's. He'd be like that universe's biggest bitch. Like you know, you're <laughs> a grown ass man, and you're a freaking kid, and a Saiyan, the, the prince of all Saiyans, as you like to say. And he gets his ass kicked and his kid has to save him. I mean, dude, he'd never live that down. I don't care, like, what freaking, uh, you know, like, what level of power he obtains. It is forever your kid is the one. Well, it's, le- it's less you. power. It's more, it's more like maybe he's just on the ropes and he just was overwhelmed. He didn't know he was going to be this strong. And then Trunks just, like, blast him in the face and it gives Vegeta time to, like, figure out what the fuck is going on. Well, I also do think that Vegeta is pretty much the biggest freaking jobber in the whole series. Like, has <laughs> he ever, like, I don't even know if he's ever even won, like, a fight. Well, no, he he's won some fights, but, like, any major fights, like, you know, 
Like, e- even fucking Frieza uh, fucking blew Android, up the planet. I'd say Android 19 was his biggest accomplishment. Just fucking beating Android 19 to the point where this soulless robot is scared of him and is running away crying. Oh, well, yeah, there was that fight, and but... But it's just that everything else, like, you know, he he didn't fucking do much uh, against Jiren, uh, didn't do do too much against the uh, the the one chick who fucking fused into like a fat chick, you know, like during the fucking tournament of power, got his yeah, ass. Yeah, Kefla, the one that Gohan beats in the manga. No, not Kefla, the the uh, the, the ones who are supposed to be like the offshoot. Of, oh, the uh, yeah, yeah, they're supposed to be like the the parody of like a uh, uh, Sailor Moon. Doesn't Vegeta beat the shit out of Goku Black before he fuses with Zamasu? Uh he does a little bit, but it does nothing. Like it's just Vegeta's kind of a bitch. Anyway, I'd say his two. I'd say his two like biggest like accomplishment fights were the Android Nineteen fight and the Second Form Cell fight, which obviously he fucked it up big time. But before that, he was fucking beating the shit out of him. <laughs> Yeah, he was doing really well. Anyway, so enough about Dragon Ball Z, which is most of the podcast right now. Um, uh, Riley, what's an anime you've you've watched recently that has nothing to do with the Dragon Ball Z universe? <laughs> an anime that I've watched recently. You see, I haven't watched a lot of anime recently because I have this thing. I guess this is the anime I'll talk about because I'm going to talk about this little effect that I have. When I try to watch a new anime... I'll start to watch the anime, and then I'll see this little anime that I've already watched called Full Metal Alchemist in my recommended, mm-hmm. and then I'll just start watching that again. You know, instead I, of the I, new I, anime, the original. Uh, both. True. Yeah, you gotta watch the beginning of the original, and then just watch Brotherhood for the rest of it. I really appreciate the original plot of the 2003 version. I obviously appreciate the manga the plot thing? too, but. Yeah, I like it. I think it's I good. The whole thing. What What is not good about it to you? The, the whole curious. end. The whole ending. All of it. All of the end of the original. They made a movie, didn't they? Like a they new ending. They make a movie, yeah. Where? Uh, what is it? Uh, when when Ed gets like sent back to like medieval times or some shit, and then Al and Pride try to find. No, there's him? like. <laughs> there's like two there's like two worlds, one where alchemy exists and one where alchemy doesn't. And and yeah, Al gets I think no Al alchemy, gets yeah. I think Al gets stuck in the no alchemy world and then Ed has to go back in or no Ed gets stuck no, and Al yeah, and yeah, around, save yeah. him. Yeah. I really like the concept of the homunculus being made from the human transmutation. I think that was a really cool angle to go with it. Personally, but the, I love them both. What was it in the original, or in, in Brotherhood rather? It wasn't in Brotherhood because Brotherhood was the manga. Brotherhood was beat for beat the manga, and the original was like they went with the manga no, I mean, for like, a while. What was and, the, like the origin of the homunculi. In I Brotherhood. think it was just that father made them. <laughs> with makes sense. I met yeah. the I met the whole cast of Full Metal Alchemist one time working at a. Uh, Alamo Draft House. It was really cool. I, I liked all of them. I met Vic. The dub a... cast? Uh, yeah, the English dub cast. You met Vic? Yeah, I met Vic. Hell I met, yeah. I, I met Vic. I met, uh, I, I think, uh, oh, fucking, what's her name? Uh, I, I don't remember any of, the, any of their names. Did, na- did but, you but ever basically stand every... next to Vic? Did you ever stand with Vic? Oh, <laughs> shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I met him. I, I met uh, the dude who played Wolverine in the '90s X-Men movie, and and uh, who, who's in Inuyasha. He's the wolf guy with uh, tornado legs. Uh, uh, like, and he was also in uh, uh, the very first American uh, version of a uh, uh, Gundam Wing when Gundam Wing was first introduced. Uh, he was uh, the the great. He was the god of death. And uh, he he's a really great voice actor. I, I I've met all of them. I think uh, Jamie Marchi, Mar Marchi. I think that's oh, one of God, them. Oh God, that bitch. Well, like this is the time before everyone decided to uh, pretend that bad things happened to just 
decided to victimize an innocent man well, and accuse him of things he didn't do. Well, here's the whole thing about that. Personally, I think all of it's just aggressive contract renegotiations on everyone's part. <laughs> Because, like, I'm sorry, but, like, you know, even though I like Vic, he's still an actor. And so when I watch him cry on the fucking stand, when I, I know a fake crier when I fucking see one. And when the the other chick, uh, Jamie Marchi or Marchi or whoever it was that took the stand, did the exact same fucking thing. They both showed up on the stand with giant smiles and, oh, you know, I like anime. But then bad you things see, I happen. Found, I found, I found Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. Dilemma. Okay. Well, yeah, it, like it, it was, it was all this stuff, and then they dropped all the fucking accusations, and then they just start talking about their fucking contracts, and and that's that's when the magic for me, with the I stand with Vic movement or uh fuck Vic up the ass movement, whatever the fuck movement it is, uh, <laughs> that, that's out there. That, that's that's when the magic sort of like fell out for me. It was like. Oh man, this the, these people don't fucking care. They they're just fucking here to renegotiate their contracts, man. Because well, the people who stood with Vic, Vic still care. The because, people who are against Vic. Well, don't yeah, care. I I know, I know, I know. It's it, the, the shit's fucking bad. But at the same time, though, the the dude's making like tons of more money now. And so like now, no, I'm he's at, not. Yeah, he Nobody is. Will like hire whatever him. he really showed. Cared. Huh? Even the people who stood with Vic, I feel like didn't really care all that much. Like it just became a whole like thing yeah it, it was it was like, real the I stand for... with Vic thing just turned into like a bunch of people coming together and like just chilling out and like growing their communities in you know yeah under the accusations against Vic yeah yeah well, yeah, I yeah. Like, I none, stand none with Vic very genuine. I, I, I genuinely stand with Vic no I'm sure there are some people that do but like <laughs> it just felt like a lot of like this is my opportunity. If I stand with Vic, think of the followers followers I'm going to get on Twitter. Think of it. Do you stand with Vic, Robin? I don't even know enough about the case to say anything about it. Well, like, uh, yeah, well, you know, we're we're not going to go through the entire fucking case because that's like, that's like a fucking episode and a half of three hours a piece talking yeah, about it's, it's just twelve hour conversation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and I don't. Like, it, there's a certain point where I just didn't care anymore, and I was like, I'll just. I have yeah. no stake in this. Oh yeah, and, and like of course, like if if all the bad shit's true, then you know I'm done with the guy. But if if there's there's no fucking criminal accusations being levied against him, it's all like a uh, tortious interference and stuff like that. So. Once again, it's a bunch of fucking rich people having a money fight, basically, in public. And, and you know, like, we're, like, I don't know, is that that's just, they really bummed me out when I started seeing, well, so this is how it's all going to really be, right? It's just a big, giant yeah. money fight. Because that's how it feels to me. And, and I felt like a Tive Beard really fucked up the case. Like, it's like fucking amateur hour with this dude. And like, and I, 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 I fucking saw through the charade when the the trial first started, and there was this. He showed up, uh, like Rakita, Mignana, and, and fucking Beard showed up at this uh, one convention, and a uh, fucking Vic and, and and Nick, you know, they had giant smiles on their face. They're like, hell yeah, man, we're about to rock and roll. I believe that was enthusiasm, and I believe that was real. But in the background, you see fucking Ty Beard with this sort of like sour puss, the sour look on his face. And like, dude, so th th that that showed me like, you know, if you ever want to see how things are really going, don't look at the actors, look at the workers around them. We, we need the Vi we need the Vic and Nick podcast. I'd listen to that. <laughs> I think that would be I think that would be a lot of fun. It's kind of crazy how uh, Nick never really intended to ever get into anime. Because he wanted to get into other shit, but you know, and, and God bless him and all that stuff. Uh, it's it's great that he's he's found his big niche, and I'm glad he's got the fans and all that. I'm a huge fan of myself with the guy. Uh, it it, it sucks that he kind of took a lot of the brunt of the. It's your fault that Vic failed. Like no bitch, it, it's it's not. Uh, he did sort of like tell you that this could happen or this could happen. But you chose not to listen too terribly uh, close to it. 
So that's that's really your fault if you're upset. That that's that's my opinion about the whole thing. And that's that's yeah, the whole because of eviction, I found myself in a dilemma where I I don't want to watch I, I'm I'm what you would call a dirty dub watcher. I watch the dub. Yeah. I'm a dub man. And I find myself in a dilemma where I'm trying to watch a show like Dragon Ball. And I, I can't I can't deal with subtitles. My brain cannot keep track of subtitles. Well then you have to deal with Goku. But also I have to listen voice. to Monica Rial also I have to listen to Monica Rial's voice come out of Bulma's mouth and it makes me heave. So I found myself <laughs> in a dilemma. <laughs> Every time I've ever heard Goku's Japanese voice, I'm like, oh wait, what is why? I love and Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist also. Ed does not sound like Japanese. I I, I, I prefer I I prefer the Japanese dub of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, because I I think that's the more authentic freaking sounding voices, and and I, I'm I'm really sick of uh hearing what's his name uh uh oh the the fucking curly haired guy uh the, who does the Sean American... Schemmel Sean Schemmel like I I like the guy well enough but. You know, I'm just like he—he he gets on my nerves, and he—he uh, he yeah, tends Sean, to. Sean Samuel's a dickhead, but he does good Goku. He—he he talks out of his ass a lot too, and he's like your—he's kind of your typical. I did well in this industry, so I'm going to huff my own farts type of guy. He's not even the best English Goku though. No, Peter he's Columbus not. Yeah, English true, Goku. true, 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 true. But yeah, fast forward from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Meeting the entire cast of uh, Full Metal Alchemist back then, man, because that's that's when they're uh, they were debuting their movie, the very first like dr- uh, directly to theaters movie, and uh, that was back in two thousand six ish, two thousand seven ish, I believe. Wait, what anime are we talking about? Full Metal Alchemist. I that. Okay. I went to Anime Boston when I was like fourteen. Really? Which I thought was what was that like? Fun. Well, Never. I went with, uh, I had my mom bring me to Anime Boston, uh, and I stayed with my mom and a friend that I had over the internet, I still have, uh, who's eight years older than me, which was just hilarious to think back on. Like, I'm 14, chilling with, like, a like a 22-year-old. Oh, wow. Throughout the whole convention. I'm 18, having a podcast with, like, a 40-year-old, so I know how it feels. Hey, you shut up! <laughs> The, the the best voice actor I met, the only voice actor who actually like like talked, right? Because like most of the voice actors, are like, cool, like here here you go, wow, I signed this for you, yeah, nice meeting you, bye. <laughs> the only one I actually talked to was uh, Patrick Sates, and uh, we met, uh, we saw him. I missed him because I had to miss a day because I had like a killer migraine, which sucks. Uh, so I got like a signature on a like a picture I had of Frankie. I had I had my friend go get it for me, and uh, we happened to see him on like the merch floor on the last day, and I was like, "Hey, I didn't get to see you, you know, blah blah blah," and he was like, "Yeah, you know, I I do a lot of my shopping on the last day because if I let myself shop every day, I just like spend all of my money on anime merch, and that's <laughs> not very healthy." <laughs> Oh man! The, one of the first things that happened when we got to to Anime Boston is my friend needed a cigarette. And so he just walked up to the first person he saw and was like, hey, can I get a cigarette, yo? And, like, they gave him a cigarette. I was like, you just walked up to Patrick Sates, and he gave you a cigarette. <laughs> and he goes, I walked up to who? I was like, you walked up to Patrick Sates, the voice actor, and he gave you a cigarette. Uh, what, what, does he, what, what has he done? I'm not familiar with the guy. Uh, I think he does a lot of the Bleach voices, but the one I know him from is Frankie from One Piece. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, dude. Uh, he does a lot of the like deep, heavy voices. Like he he does Dio now. Uh, I think he's the voice of um someone in Dragon Ball as well. Like everyone fucking voices something. In I'm Dragon compelled Ball. to watch One Piece because it's so a lot good. of people because a lot of people won't shut up about it. Especially Monkey. Monkey talks about it all the fucking time. Just now. read it. Just read it. all of One Piece. <laughs> that's probably a good idea i did that for dragon ball like I, I don't think i've ever sat through all of dragon ball z verbatim i've watched i watched the boo saga kai version and i've watched miscellaneous episodes but i've consumed the dragon ball z story through video games and the manga yeah the one piece manga is fucking excellent it's it's long as hell but like the chapters are all really short so it's digestible at least 
Yeah, I got bored in class in middle school and spent like a month reading all of the Dragon Ball manga online. And then everyone should watch and read JoJo. Uh, I haven't uh, gotten I, into. I watched the first two episodes of JoJo and was like, you know, I haven't like I haven't made myself watch JoJo yet. I have wa- made myself watch One Punch Man so far. I think I'm like three or four episodes into One Punch Man, and I, I'm so far really loving the shit out of it. Uh, I, I've I've been really enjoying uh, the whole like a uh, the anime that makes fun of anime and anime tropes mm-hmm. thing a lot. And uh, the animation's like uh, quite good, and I'm, I really enjoy the uh, the characters a whole lot too. It, it gets a little boring at first, and I'm sure that what I need to do is just keep powering through it and just watching the entire episode uh, more and more and more. But or the the series more and more. But uh, yeah, man, it's it's a it's a damn good episode. And uh, I, I can't wait to watch uh, the the rest of it. And I'm probably eventually going to go watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, but just eventually. I think that might be the next to last one I watch. Part part one is definitely, like, the weakest in JoJo, in my opinion, anyway. So, like, once you slog through, like, the beginning of it, mm-hmm. it, it definitely picks up and gets more of a story. Like, you're, you're pretty much getting, like, the origin story yeah. when you watch the like the first six or whatever episodes of JoJo. Yeah, I my I told my friend because my friend was uh doing real bad in school uh, in online school. I told him that if he if he didn't fail because it seems like he was definitely going to. I told him if he didn't fail, I'd watch JoJo's finally. And then he didn't fail. And I haven't watched JoJo's besides the first two episodes. Mm. Just get it done. It's, it's like, the, one of the most influential anime and manga of all time. Oh, I, I definitely agree there, man. Like, I, I didn't, up until someone pointed out what the anime was and explained what JoJo was to me, like, uh, I, I was always confused because I saw all the JoJo references fucking everywhere. Like, I play VR chat a lot. And there's like thousands of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fucking avatars running around every single world. Like you'd be hard pressed to find a world that doesn't have at least one JoJo or like one avatar that references uh, JoJo at all. It's hard to even find a manga or anime that doesn't have a JoJo reference because like it really is like one of those like influential manga. Yeah, no, well, like it's a meme because it's a it's a true thing, like. Like, JoJo was inspired by Fist of the North Star, and then, like, a bunch of anime started being inspired by JoJo, Now, cool as fuck. Now, there's a fucking awesome anime. I've I've watched the series some, but it was the movie that turned me on to his fucking Fist of the North Star. Uh, Fist of the North Star was one of those, like, first animes that you watched uh, when you were a kid. Hold on one sec. Uh, Sorry, I had to cough. Um... It was like when I was a kid, when I was growing up, when I was like 14, 15 years old, the sci fi channel was a channel that had fucking, guess what? Science fiction and shit on there. Not like it is now, which is fucking complete human fucking garbage. Uh, but. Alien conspiracy theories. And... No, like it, it used to be, you know, that shit used to be fun until sci fi. Oh, oh, yeah, th- there's no fucking point in conspiracy theories on the fucking History Channel. It makes no fucking oh, my sense. My favorite is one year on Memorial Day, they did an all day Pawn Stars marathon. They did a what in Stars marathon? An all, an all day Pawn Stars marathon for Memorial Day one oh. year. And everyone was like, what are you? You're the History Channel. Yeah, the, the History Channel and sci fi, they just. They really lost their way. Like, the History Channel, like, when it was about history, used to be fucking great. Like, I I would just prefer if they would just rename their shit now. Like, just don't call yourself the History Channel. There's no history on here. You know, what I I expect from the History Channel is a British broadcaster whose voice is all really dull, and we're going to talk about the history of the bells and blah, 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 blah. You know, that's not a British accent at all, which you see, you know, it's it's the but best no, I can you'll do. You'll never know what comes through those doors. I don't care. Like I fucking hate <laughs> Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars is such a stupid fucking show. I fucking hate it. 
fucking hate it. But yeah, like Sci-Fi Channel used to be all about sci-fi, and what they would do on Fridays and Saturday nights was at about 8 to 9 o'clock, they'd start showing fucking anime movies. And that's when I got to watch uh, Demon City, uh, Wicked City, fucking uh, Demon City Shinjuku. Uh, there's a lot of cities in the old anime titles. Uh, uh, that's where I watched uh, the uh, very censored version of Fist of the North Star, Vampire Hunter D, uh, fucking Ninja Scroll, uh, Tank Police. <clears throat> you know, that, that's, that's when I started watching all that shit. That's how I got exposed to anime. And because it, uh, it wasn't a Vampire Hunter D, uh, th there wasn't uh, anything like that in the like the mid '90s. Like the 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 internet just wasn't sophisticated back then, and no one was going to be downloading shit on 28.8k modems, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I I really appreciated that uh, back then because it, it really influenced me to uh, uh, to appreciate other art styles a lot more. Because up until then, all I had was like American fucking anim animated uh, 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 cartoons to reference animation to, you know? It was very rare that I saw anything, you know, from the world because there just wasn't just enough variety. That and for some reason or other, like, because I, I lived near Houston most of my life. But if I go, like, to Austin or anywhere else, they're like, dude, our coming up back those days was a little bit different than yours. Because uh, Houston's fucking broadcasting stations just had the same sort of playlist, you know. You wouldn't, uh, you, you wouldn't get like the, you wouldn't get exposed to the the hip new thing until it was like two or three years old, and you're the one behind on the fucking times, and it fucking sucked. But yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Robin, what what's an anime you've watched recently that you've liked that you want to talk about? Oh god, recently? Well, it doesn't have to be recently. recently. Like, tell you what, how about the last anime you watched? I mean, I think the last anime I watched was a rewatch. I rewatched uh, Madoka Magica. I think I've heard of that. Before. I, I think I've heard of that. Is it any good? It's real good. It, it came out at a time where there was... I mean, like, I, I'm just gonna say, like, watch it. <laughs> There's no other way I've to, only like, watched like four animes to completion. Because like, like, if I the... start talking about it, it like ruins the the magic, you know. Oh, okay, okay. The it's Madoka one of Magica. those. <laughs> yeah. It's it's I really just... something you just gotta experience and watch. I'm the biggest hashtag fake fan of anime because I've watched like four animes to complete, like six maybe, and one of them is only a complete anime by a technicality. Oh, which what one is that? is that? Uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai: The Final Chapters, which is just the Boo Saga of Dragon Ball Z. You see, I I never really I I never really liked Kai or anything like that. Like, uh, cause I I grew up watching the completed, well, somewhat completed, uh, DBZ, uh, stuff. So I'm like, eh, I'll just leave it at there. I'll just leave it at that, and I'll just YouTube the the fights and stuff that I really want to see from the series, but. Yeah, Kai, Kai was just Dragon Ball Z without the filler, so it's everybody's dream. Everybody loves it. I know, I know. I just, I just don't. I guess I don't have time to watch. Like, well, you know, I don't know. I don't have time to watch it. I guess. Oh, like I, 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 I love it except Riley because Riley loves the filler. <laughs> but, I um, love Kai too, but like, I, I, they're just filler episodes that I think deserve more light. Can we get a cut of Dragon Ball Z that's just the filler? Like, <laughs> yes. Yes. It's like yeah, like all right, guys. Anti -Kai. All right, guys. Now we're going to the we're blow, going to Planet Namek, and then like the you're at the end of the fucking series. Well, guys, we saved a, a Grand Kai or uh, the the Great Poobah fucking Namek here, who's about to die on us, and all the Nameks. Like, well, what the fuck happened? <laughs> but anyway, um, I'll tell you one anime that was really overhyped, and I'm starting to believe that people in the industry are just causing controversies in, in the anime world just to get other animes to, to sell. And one of those animes is uh, fucking Goblin Slayer. Like, I, I, I watched Goblin Slayer, and I'm like, dude, this fucking anime is really, really boring. There's nothing really going on or anything I haven't seen like a million fucking times. 
And uh, I'm like, I'm halfway through the first season, and I'm just bored as hell. And I'm afraid to watch Rise of the Shield Hero because of the controversy, because I feel like I'm about to get rused again. That I'm just like, someone's going to be uh, like, yeah, uh, blah, uh, like, I'm going to watch this, and I'm not going to enjoy it at all. Like, it sounds like it's going to be just another shitty fucking anime. And I'm getting pretty sick and tired of being manipulated into watching some anime. Like, this is what I get for paying attention to Reddit and Twitter. I, I guess that's my fault. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. what. Like, what's an overrated anime to, uh, to uh, you, Robin? Dragon Ball Z. no that's that's a valid answer there's a fucking ton of people i knew who fucking hate dragon ball everything yeah that's me all right uh what about you riley what what's uh what's an overrated anime that like you're probably never going to watch or maybe not watch maybe not watch but definitely is overrated to you you see I've watched nine episodes of this, and I can't get into it. Everybody loves it, but after nine episodes, I'm still kind of like, eh, My Hero Academia. I'm afraid to get into My Hero Academia precisely (laughs) for that point, because it's been, like, super, it's been hyped to the fucking moon, and I'm not sure if it's going to live up to my, whatever expectations I have, because uh, I I, I, want to like it. I want to make sure that it's fucking good. Because I think it'll be really, really good. But at the same time, like, if I watch the first five, ten epi- episodes of the show and I'm not into it, I'm going to be super, super pissed off. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. We're pretty much at the hour, Mark. Uh, uh, any of y'all, uh, uh, Riley, we'll start with you. Do you have any... Uh, Closing thoughts, any uh, recommendations? Uh, what's a, uh, well, you know, like what? What's an anime that you absolutely love to the moon and back, and that you would recommend uh, everyone fucking watch? Well, I mean, the two that I talked about the most: Full Metal Alchemist, both of them, and Dragon Ball Z. Definitely. And the original, and the original Dragon Ball too. It doesn't get enough love. I, I like the, you know, I, I like the original Dragon Ball a whole lot. It, it, it gets shit on, or not, not shit on. It gets pushed aside because DBZ is a thing, and that's just how it's going to be. And we we don't really talk about GT because I've watched most of GT and I thought it was a shit heap. I actually love GT. Everybody hates GT, but I love it. Uh, there's just, there's just, it, it's, it's just bland and it, it's fucking boring. They just like they Sword changed... Art Online. Everybody hates Sword Art Online. I uh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Hold it. We're we're here. I was just about to bring this up in my closing argument. All right. <laughs> oh. I'm the champion Sword Art Online elicitation. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm the champion for Sword Art Online elicitation. All right. The best arc in all of Sword Art Online, maybe besides Mother's Rosario, because Mother's Rosario is really good. I haven't seen Alice's Asian yet, actually. But you really need to. It's real good. I I was telling. Did they, uh, did they dub I, it I yet? Is Tomas the dub available anywhere it. yet? I have no idea. Because I... Tomas is a sorted online fan, and I was like, "Have you watched Alice's Asian yet?" And he's like, "No." So, because he's a fucking loser and never watches anything. See, as Damn, uh, stop being so mean to Tomas. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm at him right now. I'm <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> Now, r- right now, I'm I'm uh, like I, I was watching Sword Art Online, and I'm at the point where they have to go back into the second iteration of the fucking program, and so you know I, I I've stopped there, and that so was like, like a, fairy dance. I I don't know what it is like, like it's like, like they've they've beaten Ironcrad, like they've beaten Sword Art Online, and then the they planted the world seed and. Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. And now, like they found out, dance is hot garbage. But you gotta, you gotta grind through it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to that then. That's where the tentacle rape happens. So you know, you just gotta oh, kinda... there's well, hold on. There's there's tentacle rape in Sword Art Online. <laughs> <laughs> Alfheim is good except for the tentacle rape. I except love Alfheim the... except for the tentacle rape. <laughs> and uh, what's what's the and the like? Doesn't he like lick Asuna's face? He licks tears off of Austin's face. That's absolutely disgusting. 
I mean, they that 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 makes a pretty good, pretty like we hate him villain though. Yeah, they wanted to make us hate that villain. They did it. They fucking did it. Yeah. Christ Almighty. Yeah. I mean, so just like, or or just skip the Gun Gale. Just skip the season two. Well, I don't want to skip like whole <laughs> portions of anime. I might as well slog through it just so I can get like the the flavor of it all. Wait, are you saying start with Gun Gale? No, 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 I'm saying, like, once, oh, once okay. Fairy Dance starts, just skip Fairy Dance. Just I, I, I like on. Fairy Dance. Just skip the tentacle ray. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's I the thing. I don't know how that sparked. I know that they're, like, there's some, like, ooze creatures that are, like, AI, and they just start feeling up Asuna. Well, that's the thing. It's fuck it. That's the thing. I See, uh, I won't Asuna's be able to... bare, nippleless head. See, that's the thing. I won't be able to skip that scene because I, I've never watched it before, so I don't know when it shows up. Mo won't be able there's, to skip that scene. A, Betty, Betty won't scene have any use in, for his uh, tissues and lotion. There's also a rape scene in Elicization. <laughs> but again, you gotta just kinda get through that, you know? Man, the, the fucking... You know, so and I, I'm not people... talking about like like the tentacle rape is kind of a meme, right? Like it's like a little, it's like a grope from a ooze mm-hmm. monster, mm-hmm. you know. But like, there's like a straight up like rape in Alicization, like and in Gun Gale too. Is there? Yeah, with that that creepy guy who's uh Sinon's friend tries to rape her at the end. I don't remember that. That's yeah, yeah that's... he's. Like... The, the guy who's part of the death gun plan, he shows up at her house and tries to rape her, and then Kirito has to save her. My well, spoilers, Mo well, hasn't seen it yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, there, there is just, like, actual just rape. And, like, it's it's so bad that there's a warning at the beginning of the episode. It's like, this episode contains sensitive content. Like, holy like, shit. You figure that you just... Is fun. I, I don't understand it. Like you know why you know they're they're just 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 don't put the raping in, in the anime and it will be fine. Like, like maybe it moves the plot forward, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know. Who gets raped? And then fucking Reki Kawahara goes out and is like, "Hey, I, I'm really sorry." Like he he asks the fucking voice actors on Twitter and goes like, "I'm oh. really sorry. You guys had to voice act that." Like I've wow. grown, and I'm sorry. <laughs> and then the two the two girls that were raped because there's two of them, of course. The two girls that, that were like almost raped or whatever, like, heavily sexually assaulted. Anyway, the the two voice actors were like, "Yeah, it's no problem. Like we got through it. It was a little weird though." Okay, well now yes. I have to see this then. Shit. <laughs> well, because like now yeah, my it's like emotion now. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's like you know no, that that's loves watching rape. No, no, I do not. No, I do not. <laughs> All right, everybody on the record, Bo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna edit yeah, this. You want to watch an anime more than just a hardcore rape scene? Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Hey, Mo. You know what? I want to take a load off your back. I'll edit the episode this week. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ Almighty. Anyway, so I, I guess that's all. Does anyone have anything else they want to say before we end this episode? Yeah, JoJo. Do we, Watch JoJo. Do we have time? Do we have time? Do you have time for, for what? Say one thing? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So, so I know we got off this tangent like an hour ago, but I forgot about one filler episode. I just have to describe it to you. I uh, have I have to inform uh, uh, people this exists. Of what, of what series? Dragon Ball Z. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I have to inform people this exists. The, the episode is called A Girl Named Lime, and it takes place in the week before the Cell Games when Goku and Gohan are just hanging out as Super Saiyans. And everybody's training and being all like, oh shit, Cell's going to kill us. We're all going to die. <laughs> and in the episode, it, it's about Gohan meets this little girl named Lime, and she, he saves her from falling into the ocean. And then he goes to her little village town where they're all like shacking up and trying to build shelter, getting ready for Cell, which I think is really good world building. Just seeing like people preparing for Cell and like trying to shelter and like just, you know, the normal things that would happen during a catastrophic event. Because, uh, you know, a bug man saying, I'm going to blow up your planet in a week. That's a that's a pretty <laughs> catastrophic event that you might want to shelter for. Uh-huh. 
And the plot of the episode is that Gohan meets this girl's like grandfather or something who tells her, who tells Gohan that her parents were killed by Perfect Cell, which again, good world, or Imperfect Cell, like back when he was absorbing people, which again, good world building. Her parents were absorbed by Imperfect Cell. And then Mercenary Tao shows up and tries to like rob the village and Gohan scares him away by just being Goku's son. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the episode. He goes to a little village and meets a little girl and saves them from Mercenary Tao. And it's good world building. And it's a cute little thing. I think it's great. And I w- you all need to watch all of Dragon Ball Z, all the filler. And, and that's the same mercenary. Just to make sh- make super sure, that's the same mercenary that uh, that's been in DB Dragon Ball like the entire time. Th- that was one of Goku's main villains, right? Yeah, he was he was the main villain and ri- one of the main villains in original Dragon Ball. Goku never killed him. He became a cyborg and he just kind of continued to exist. Yeah, see, I've always liked that guy. I, I like. I kind of wish that he was in Dragon Ball Super a little bit more. Like they need to bring. He some... was in a couple episodes, wasn't he? I, I know, yeah, he was, but like not enough. Like I, I would like to see him a lot more. Like you know, it's like every once in a while, maybe like a an episode where he's just plotting against Goku to fucking steal one of his Dragon Balls or something. You know? No, he wouldn't do that because the thing with Mercenary Tao is he he now has like super PTSD for Goku to the point where he finds out that Gohan is Goku's son and just fucking bails in this episode. <laughs> I love when he throws like a pylon or something out in the sky and he jumps it and that's how he rides across the sky at super speeds. That's awesome. I, that I really awesome. I really like that. <sighs> everybody watch a girl everybody watch a girl named Lime and whatever the robot episode is called. That's my PSA for today. Yeah. <laughs> the I'm, best Dragon Ball Z filler. I'm definitely gonna have to watch that. Uh everyone go check out uh One Punch Man. I think it's really fucking cool. And uh uh, as far as Naruto's watch concerned, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure as well. And as far as uh, Naruto's concerned, I don't think it's a really bad anime so far. It's just that there's a ton of filler episodes, but there's a lot of really cool uh, fight scenes. Like I, I finally get all the people who were like, "Dude, y'all never have a cooler fight scene than this," and uh, it's uh, Ninja One versus Bad Guy Ninja Two because I don't know everyone's names yet. By heart. Naruto is best consumed by playing the storm games and watching the cool fights on YouTube. Uh, I'm the type. I'm the type of guy who who needs the story so I can like uh, immerse myself in the universe. So yeah, play like, the storm games. That's what the how fuck you is get the story of Naruto? What, what's a storm game? Um, they're the current uh, Naruto storm. games. Uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm. Oh, okay, okay. See, that makes sense. Like when you say storm games, mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck is a storm game? Yeah, the Ultimate Ninja Storm, game, Storm games, they go through all of Naruto and Naruto Shippuden, specifically Shippuden, because the first game isn't very good with story. But all of Shippuden is told through Storm 2, 3, and 4, and it's the best way to consume it, pretty much, in my opinion, hot take. Your Jump Force is pretty fun. I got that on sale recently on PS4. I have a I'm few friends it. who have Jump Force, and I love the shit out of it. It's like, I mean, it's like a little bit hot trash, but like in a good way. Oh god, I'll I'll have to play that thing because it's here in the house. All right. Anyway, so Riley, where can they find you at, bro? Well, you can find me everywhere on Twitter. <laughs> everywhere, yes. You can find me on Twitter at Riley Tweets. You can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Riley Streams. You can find Pokemon Variety Hour on Stitcher, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts. You can find Pixels, Polygons, and Fun wherever podcasts are found. Recently hit its 100th episode. Big milestone. Cool times. Nice. nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. And then the Riley Podcast Mega Feed. It's got all co- sorts of podcasts. And the new big one is the Big Guy Little Guy YouTube channel, which link in the description, I guess, because you can't find it with the search function because that just doesn't work for some reason. Yeah, Big Guy Little Guy. Let's Plays, even though the Let's Plays are on hiatus right now because Andrew had to go camping for three weeks. Oh, so now yikes. I'm doing lar- so now I'm doing largest issue with guests and we just don't have any let's plays for the next three weeks. Oh shit. That's a hell of a way to start out your new series. Yeah, one week of daily let's plays and then it has to go on a three week hiatus. All but right. yeah, the, the the let's plays will come back at the end of those three weeks. Then you can subscribe and watch them. It'll be a good time. 
All right, and I, I understand that we uh, just recorded your first big bonus episode for uh, the Dickheads that podcast. It expires. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. It's a good fucking episode. <laughs> it's a good episode. Download it right How now. Ago? How long ago did we do it? About like it was Saturday, Saturday or Sunday. Okay. So it's only been five days. I'm good. It expires in seven. Yeah, yeah. Well, you should download it now because I like it's. I, it, I, I will I, once I, I. I will once I unpack my laptop. I will. I'm. A, I, I went to my grandma's house. So I. I still have to unpack. But once I do, I'll download it. I mean, if anything, you could just give me the link and I'll download it for you and upload it for you later on. Because <laughs> I. I'm not going through another hour and a half of explaining the saga of mundane Matt. No, don't, don't worry. Again. I'll edit it. I, <laughs> I want to put. I, I, I want to get it so we can do the Monkey Jones one because I'm super excited about it. Hell yeah, hell yeah! I'm looking forward to that one. All right, so uh, Robin, where can they find you at? You can find me on Twitter at Inside Alloy, and then same thing for Twitch.television slash Inside Alloy. Stop doing no mic streams. I, I see notifications for you, and I go to click on them, and then they say no mic, and I'm like, nah. Yeah, yeah. I stream with the mic sometimes, and then other times I'm like talking to someone at the same time, and they don't want to be on stream. And then I'm like, all right, well, fucking, that's stupid. You can talk to me. I'll be on stream. I'll talk to you on stream. You gotta be on PS4 party chat, my dude. I have a PS4. I will get into party chat with you. All right. Well, give me your PSN afterwards, and I'll add you. I will. Yeah, I was doing right, Last well, of Us too. The, uh, hit, the hit video you. game. Uh, it is I didn't really like Last of Us, the very first one, that much, just because, like, well, like Metal Gear Solid does the you know, a few hours of gameplay, then boom, a fucking, like, a half hour fucking FMV really, really well. And I'm just afraid that people since then have tried to copy that, and there's so very few that have gotten that. And I, I just don't think that Naughty Dog really had that uh, go. Like, I don't even like the Uncharted series. Like, the I, gameplay I think it's... is very good, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. but, like, they stopped they being good after of... Jack and Daxter. They did sort of like a pseudo open worldy kind of thing where like you're exploring like different you get like a small map in a part of Seattle and then like you can explore it kind of freely and just like loot shit and like you know take things out and it's getting like more and more dangerous the further you go in the game. I I feel like there's definitely like criticisms of the game but a lot of people that criticize it are just like they're, they're a yeah, part of the. I don't like, I don't like trainees in my game. Wah! And, and uh, you cool. know, I, I don't, I don't fucking even understand that either. Like a, it, it's so weird all around. Like Neil Druckmann hasn't done this game any favors, and a few of the blue check marks on fucking Twitter haven't done this game any favors, and uh, the Nerdist and and all these other fucking people who are just immediately on, on the the fuck the Last of Us bandwagon. The, you know, like it's it's not really done this game any favors, in my opinion. And like, I, 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 I it. if they just really actually awkward. criticized it, if they just actually criticized it, then like, that's fine. Like, yeah, there's a lot of issues with the game, but instead they're like, yo, there's gay people. That's kind of nasty, dude. Like, like I well, can't. You, well, could, you could argue about like a million other things. Yeah, Are like you talking it, about the original or two. Well, two. Okay. Because it shouldn't even be that fucking big a deal. There was like, no one said shit about there being a gay guy in in the first one. Like, uh, the guy who's like, he, like the the sequence that I actually really liked is you're having to push push start this fucking shitty little truck, and uh, you're just trying to like get to point A to point B, and you're getting attacked by the clicker monsters, right? And I I thought that mm -hmm. scene was a lot of fun. And then you find one of his fucking magazines, his porno mags, in the back. It's like nothing about a, but a bunch of dudes. And that's where you find out, hey, this character is gay. Da -da. Well, and, and the DLC does establish that Ellie is gay. Like, yeah, that that is a thing in the first game. Like, uh, you know, it's just I don't know. People just fucking bitch about anything, and I'm just I'm so sick of hearing it. Like, it's it, honestly like I just. I kind of want to just divorce myself from uh, from almost everything and just like have hardly any interactions with Twitter or Reddit or 4chan or anything. Like it's just it's just not fucking fun anymore. 
It's always I read on Twitter the video game. It's always the fucking quarter poundering who's like, but but they're they're gay. <gasps> yeah, so I what, can't man? Gay? It. Like, dude, the the ballad of gay Tony in in fucking uh, 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 <laughs> in uh, GTA Four. Oh, but he's fine because he's a fucking walking stereotype. So you know. Well, They're like shit. Cool with that. Well, shit, man. I even, you know, like that. That was the first. Uh, uh, that was the first game that I saw full hog uh, in there because, like, there's just a cutscene where this guy's like, you're in the fucking bathhouse or something, and he just whips out it off his fucking towel, and then boom, it's just penis. But then again, you also see like a bunch of people fucking in in, in that I DLC, say, which is weird. <laughs> I want to say that I saw on Twitter. A Last of Us 2 criticism that I can definitely get behind. The fact that there are actual uncensored tits in this game in a sex scene, but PlayStation censors the fuck out of every anime game ever. Yeah, that... th- that's that's been a huge point of contention too, is people are really pissed off at like the the unnecessary censorship of stuff. And if the gaming industry doesn't censor their shit, well by golly, our moral fucking avatars of pure virtuosity at here at fucking Sony or Nintendo. I think Yo, it's mostly Sun and Sony. Weird... In a lot, in a lot of anime let me look games, at the... like, the anime titties are always on a girl who looks like she could probably be, like, three years old. So it's like, I, I understand why they may be censored. Some of, some, you some... Let me look at these weird, gross, muscly woman tits, but not anime tits. Well, you, you, they, 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 they need to, like, you know, you, like, grow the bitch up, or age the chick up a little bit more. Like, cause, like, cause that Just that makes me them look three years old. It's fucking uncomfortable. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not good. Yeah, like I, I, I don't like it. It was, it was funny when South Park did it when they were parroting Dog the Bounty Hunter. It, it's, it's, you know, and that's obviously a joke. It gets really, really weird and uncomfortable when I'm like looking at the anime chick and like there's, like you know, everything about her seems extremely young and like you give Listen her like to your a, internet you, saviors digi nay and sigh and like don't, don't give them g cups you know <laughs> anyway anyway i think that's about it for everyone and all that you can check me out at a uh, happier good boy 420 or you can check me out at the mocast and uh if happier good boy 420 is gone then you can find them at happiest good boy 420 Oh, I mean, no, goodest boy. no, I need to step away from my Twitter because I've just been nothing but angry and pissed off the last few days. I've just been ye- getting yelled at and yelling at people like, you know what? No, I, I just don't need this, especially in this fucking climate. I'm going to be screaming 24 seven. Anyway, uh, I keep getting insights about COVID on Twitter with with myself because Andrew runs a mm-hmm. Riley parody account. So I keep getting into fights with myself over COVID shit. I fight Fun. with myself all the time. This <laughs> says it's not good. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been fucking putting up hand puppets on my thing and just like having arguments with myself. It's like, I don't think, you know, I don't think this would be good. Anyway, happier good boy, a gooder boy, uh, a fucking at, at the MoCast, you know, because I, now I don't, uh, at, at the MoCast on Twitter, MoDiggity42, on Instagram and YouTube, twitch.tv slash Uh I've been taking a break from streaming. I haven't streamed in like a month and because I've been feeling nothing creatively and I've been trying to, but, and the internet's been awful. So yeah, yeah, you know, and check out the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Mosai Productions and all that stuff. Uh, we'll be uploading every Wednesday, the same day we record a new episode. That way, you know, like it feels good. And the the consistencies there. Anyway, oh, so like last week ep- last week's episode comes out when we record that week's episode. Well, yeah, because that way there's seven days in between each episode. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so thanks a lot, everyone, for coming out. I really appreciate it. See you later. Ta ta. Bye. Bye.